Okay, hi guys. In this video, I will show the output of the online bookstore website. First, this is the home page of the website. We will see that there are navigation bar which contains home page buttons, book list button, sign up buttons, login button, and card buttons. Then we will see the features of filter search where user can enter the book title or author name or enter the minimum or maximum prices to buy the books they want. For example, we enter 12, filter it, and this is the books that will uh, be available. Then clear. Okay, next, here are some books in English, in Malay, and in Chinese. And this is the book title, the book title, and this is the price of the book, and this is the add to cart buttons. Okay, we can click on this book to view the detail of the book. Here has title name, uh, author name, language, ISBN, the publish, price, descriptions. And if user want to go back to the previous page, they can click the back buttons. Now, if the user want to add a book to the cart, they can click to the add to cart buttons. Then it will bring the user to a login page. If the user has an account, he can log in directly. If not, he can click sign up as a new user. And then register an account by filling it all the detail and submit it. So <clears throat> I log in directly with my account. In okay. So next, let's look. Let's look at the book list first. Okay, so the book list page is actually operated by the admin. The user can only see this page but cannot add a click to the but cannot see the add book buttons the page of this page. So uh, it will show the access denied. You do not have access to this resource. Then the edit button, the view info button, and the delete button, same. Then, uh, go back to the home page and add a book to the cards. Okay, so, okay, now let's go to the shopping cart. So, uh, there are the card details, the book, the price, the quantity, the remove button, the total amount. Okay, you can increase the quantity, increase the quantity, or de decrease the quantity. Okay, so... Then delete one of the book from the list. Okay, delete, or you can delete all of them. Card, card is empty. Okay, so we add back the book to the cart. Okay, so if the user want to pay, he can click checkout, complete order. And this is the order receipt, and these are the order detail, the order ID, the book title, the book image, the price, the quantity, and the total amount. Then, <coughs> in addition, user can also make, manage their own account by click on these buttons. Okay, so uh, such as changing their own information, their first name, their phone number, and create the save. 
and changing their email, their passwords, and also can permanently deleting their own account. Okay, so then I log out first. I log out this account because this account is for ordinary users to log in, and then I use the so uh, now I use the admin account to log in. Admin. Okay, so <clears throat> it's the page that the admin will see, and the navigation bar has one more button that's rules. That's rules, and let let's look at the put list first. Okay, which is the same as what we just saw with the user's account login. The only difference is, is that when we click the edit button, okay, the admin can edit the title, the language, the ISBN, the detail of the book, can edit the detail of the book. Then, can add the book to add a new book to the list and we can view the info can view the info edit we can delete the book from the book list okay so for example we try to edit the book uh, language Malay okay so we save okay it turned to Malay okay we edit back to English English okay, safe. Okay, so it return back the English. Okay, then we go to the row page. Okay, uh, it can add row, and we can see that uh, we have two row here: user and admin. So uh, we can go to edit the admin. Then uh, we can set uh, the account as admin by by click on these buttons. By click on this button. For example, uh, let's say we want to this this account to be the admin. Okay. So so if someone have this account to log in, he will see to what the admin sees. Okay, for example, we try to log in with the account we add just now. Okay, so this is the view. Okay, we have the row button here. Okay, and admin also can manage its own account like user. Can edit their details, changing their email, password, also can delete the account. Okay, so we log out. Okay, okay, that's all. Okay, thanks for watching.